all right hello this is marie diary so i'm here to do um a video i'm not really sure how long it's gonna be um all right so my spirit guides my angels and archangels on me of the most high i ask that you come in and guide me protect me always including when i'm doing any videos on my channel i ask that you give me the clearest view of the reading through the cards that i decide to use and have in my hand i ask that you return any and all negative energies from people places and things and return it back where it needs to go immediately permanently including any ill will intent sent towards me i ask that you return it back where it needs to go and out of my space and energy in jesus name i pray amen thank you all right so i thought i was gonna do um a love reading or a divine counterpart reading but um i'm getting some other energies so the first cards that came out was the Justice card, the Hermit card, and the Two of Wands. So I'm getting from that is like there could be some kind of justice that's going to be pertaining to someone choosing to like um, go a certain path or something. And this could be going a, um, a certain path from what others are doing. So or like going on a path of their own. And so this could be for a male or a female, or it could be both or whatever gender. Um, but yeah, so the first card that came out was the Justice card. Then it was the Hermit card. Because somebody definitely could be going within, like using their intuition and going within. Um, and maybe this could be bothering people or a person or something that this person is choosing to go within to work on themselves and better themselves find themselves and it all has to do with a path that they decided to go so but I feel like there is definitely some justice that could be coming in pertaining to this all right you got the hermit card and the two of wands which are the the last two so it's the, you know, Justice, the Hermit, and the Two of Wands that came out. So, I actually pulled some of my Oracle cards also, too. So, yeah, somebody could be being a hater about someone choosing to go a certain path or way or something like that. You got the question, what? You got the day of the week, Thursday. So, this could be happening on a Thursday or it could have happened on a Thursday. All right. Yeah, because somebody doesn't want to accept no for an answer. And maybe that has to do with this person choosing to go a certain path or direction. All right. Something with the uh, south direction could be significant. You got drive a person insane. So somebody could be trying to drive someone insane because of them choosing to go a certain path. And they don't like it because, you know, the first card that came out was hater. So somebody don't like it. So they're intentionally trying to drive somebody insane. Um, and their chakras could be blocked off. So all of their chakras, all of their seven chakras could be blocked off. Or they could be trying to block off this person's chakras be, um, with them choosing to go a certain path. Yeah, because, and then also after that, you got enemy trying to keep you discouraged. So they definitely trying to keep this male or female discouraged because they you know you already got hater coming out you got driver person insane um they're trying to discourage this person and block their chakras in some kind of way but little do they know something with this justice has something to do with a settlement um and maybe the settlement could be coming into play on on that day of the week thursday but something with settlement in the day of the week thursday could be significant or is significant um let's clarify this justice card let's see what comes out to clarify this justice card for this energy right now let's see what's gonna come out for the justice card you got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, this justice has to do with some kind of betrayal to this energy or whoever this is happening for. And that's, yeah. And it could be 
this uh, betrayal will be having some kind of enlightenment coming in. Or this could be the betrayal to um, a Leo sign or someone who's definitely going within and using their intuition. Something that someone was definitely trying to block off from this um, this energy, whether it's masculine or feminine. All right, and look at that. At the back of the deck, you got the King of Wands. So somebody definitely could have been trying to block off a male or a masculine or female or feminine energies, um, you know, with them going within themselves because they was being a hater towards this person. They was trying to discourage this person in, in whatever kind of way. Um, drive this person insane. All right. Anything else to clarify this, Justice Carr? Oh, yeah. Because this person could be looked at as some kind of um, earth angel or something like that. Or they didn't want this person to um, use their intuition to go within themselves, to meditate, to have balance and patience and, be, you know, become a better, a, yeah, become a better person. They wanted this person to be in this four of cups. They are. They wanted to keep try to keep this person in their head, and I feel like that has to do with drive this person insane. And um, what's the other one? Yeah, keeping them discouraged. So that's giving me the energy of the four of cups. Um, yeah. So you got the ace of wands and the page of pentacles that came out. Um, so there could be. And they wanted to keep this person discouraged and drive them insane because this has something to do with their, their, um, whatever this new beginning or something to do with a new beginning in their, in their creativity or something to do with something that this person might have put a lot of, um, time and energy and research into. Yeah, you got the Page of Cups coming out. So now you got the Ace of Wands. The page, um, you got the Ace of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. So somebody definitely could have put have been putting in a lot of time to begin something or start something that you know they had a lot of passion for, a lot of creativity for, a lot of creativity and passion for. Um, then you got the Five of Cups that just fell on the floor. Yeah, they wanted this person to be in regret. Crying over spilled milk. But I definitely feel like there could be some kind of justice coming in. Because of what somebody was trying to do. Um, to this energy. Whether it's masculine or feminine. Alright. And this, like I said, the hermit came out. Because like this person definitely could have been putting time into something to. Um, yeah, look at the ten of wands. The, well, excuse me. The nine of wands coming out in reverse. Yeah, with this person going within and putting this time into them time into themselves they wasn't really feeling um like they had to put all this like energy as far as being you know defensive or like with them going within themselves they was able to figure out a lot of things and i feel like get back to themselves with the nine of wands in reverse yeah because they was like you know you got the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands at the back of the deck again for right now with the Four of Cups. Like, with them going within themselves, they was able to learn something new or learn multiple new things or something that had to do with their creativity that, you know, they probably enjoyed or whatever and like that. Wow, the Knight of Pentacles just kind of fell out. Um, so... I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles coming out, this could have been something that this person was trying to figure out, like, to start, um, you know, to start this new beginning or, like, a new way to figure out to, like, make money. Yeah, you got the Lover's card falling out in my lap. Um, and then the first card was the Three of Cups. Like, somebody could have been wanting to, like, not want this person to to do this or have that. Or somebody was trying to um, affect this, like, have some kind of effect for this. Like, I don't know if it's three people or 
because this energy wasn't collaborating with this person. So they wanted to try to like, you know, have them stop doing this or maybe. So this could have been a divine counterpart or it was like a choice that this person was choosing to do this because you got enemy trying to keep them discouraged. So somebody definitely could have been trying to stop somebody from coming into making, you know, new money or like new ways of making money yeah you got the seven of swords that just fell out they could have been being sneaky and deceptive in some kind of way to try to stop this person because this person was going within themselves to try to figure this stuff out or to try to start this new beginning with you know making this money or like you know they could have been into this entrepreneur energy and somebody definitely could have been yeah, the Eight of Wands just flew out on top of the Seven of Swords. Something that they was quickly trying to do. They was quickly trying to um, find ways to stop this person. But I, like I said, there could be some kind of justice with this, which is this settlement that could be coming in. Maybe that has to do something to do with Thursday. Or like it could be happening on a Thursday. Um, something with Thursday is significant. And then the two of wands. Um, let's see. Clarify the two of wands. You got the ten of pentacles. So this could have been family or friends that was having something to do with this. Or clarify this two of wands. With this. You know, I'm not about to take all of those. That's a lot. But uh, that was just the ten of cups at the bottom that was in reverse. So somebody definitely didn't want somebody to get happiness and fulfillment and what they was doing and maybe this has to do with a yeah so you got the four of cups just fell out in reverse um with the full card at the back of the deck so it's like either these friends or family or someone close to this person was definitely um a, like definitely was this hater and was trying to keep this person discouraged even try to drive this person insane because they didn't want to see this person have this um this happiness and fulfillment with them choosing to go a certain path and like you know yeah with the high priest is just falling out because this definitely could have had something to do with this person's intuition and them being more spiritual them going within themselves and um you know maybe even having something to do with a divine counterpart or this it could have been a divine counterpart uh, whether this person was a friend or a lover or something, they wanted to lay something to rest. Like, these two cards just fell out. Um, or this person who could have been a friend or friend or a family member or something like that, or even a lover. They either wanted to lay to rest a relationship and this person's money because they chose to go a certain path. It could have been a certain path um, other than what they would be used to doing or something like that or used to, like it would be a path that they wouldn't want to go yeah the nine of swords just fell out on top of the hermit the nine of swords just fell out on top of the hermit this had this person whoever this person is whether it's a friend or family member or a lover this had this person like in their head like because they they couldn't understand what this person was doing and why they were choosing to go this path or whatever like that it was something, it's something that, yeah, you got the Eight of Swords. They wanted to keep this person, um, yeah, they wanted to discourage this person. They wanted to keep this person bound and stuck and in prison, like, maybe even in their thoughts about what they have been doing or, like, participating in. Because they didn't understand it, so they wanted to stop this person or, or discourage this person or not see them um you know better themselves or like you know figure themselves out or something they didn't understand they didn't like because i mean we did see haters like the first card that came out yeah so they was watching that was just oh, flipped over in the deck this person whoever this person is they definitely was and they wanted to cause a tower moment so this person was not only trying to keep this person mentally in prison and they had it stuck um they also was they could have been watching this person so say like if this person has something online 
they have been watching this person and they wanted to cause a tower moment. You got the um, you got the uh, the tower, the page of swords. Well, so it's supposed to be the other way. You got the eight of swords, the uh, page of swords, and the um, tower. So they definitely was keeping an eye on this person while they was like hating on them and trying to discourage them and I feel like even manipulate them because they wanted this person to walk away from whatever they was doing or putting their time and effort into figuring out. Yeah, so whatever their passion was, they wanted them to walk away from that or whatever this new passion that they was, you know, putting time and effort to, into, they wanted them to walk away from it. Yeah, something that definitely was coming in or was soon to come in or is coming in. They wanted them to walk away from it. Because it's something that they didn't understand so or not trying to understand. So they want to keep this person from figuring it out or, you know, just part, being a part of it. Anything else from this pile that pertains to this energy? But there's definitely some justice coming in, and that justice could be including, um, you know, that settlement. What's this? So I just seen take a mental break. Um, got job employer. So something with a job employer could be significant. All right. So maybe this has something to do with a job employer, or this could have been happening at a job or something like that. Yeah, you got false accusations. Or okay, so this could be surrounding a job where there was some kind of false accusations or something like that. I mean, this doesn't have to be just that, but that's the two cards that just came out. Yeah, something definitely was weird about whatever this was, or weird about whatever these false accusation was, whether it was at this job or whatever this job like energy is. Anything else to clarify this energy? Uh, okay, so think that you want, desire their person. Wow, so somebody could have been actually thinking that somebody want their person. I mean, we did have the Two of Cups that came out. You had the High Priestess. You had the High Priestess, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Yeah. Alright, anything else? Seven seventeen fifty two. I just saw on the clock. Yeah, somebody may have felt like there something was wasted, or some kind of love was wasted, or you got wasted love freestyle by Janae Aiko. Um, I'm gonna take a couple more cards. Let's see, anything else? Anything else? But I don't know how this settlement has to do with this. So this could be more than one like type of situation that's in this reading right now. <laughs> you got apartment. All right, so maybe this settlement has to do with an apartment or something. I don't know, something like that. Yep. Or this could have been happening at an apartment or something with an apartment could be significant. It says a person will show you who they are, pay attention. Family matters. Uh, hold on. Trifling person. Make light of a situation. Somebody who was a trifling person could have been making light of a situation. You got protagonist, which talks about the leading character or one of the major characters in a drama, movie, novel, or other fiction fictional text. Wow. You got both. You got empathy, and then you got Mercury retrograde, which talks about um, confusion, delay, and frustration. Um, you know, this could be pertaining to some kind of optical illusion, um, but it definitely has to do with confusion, delay, and frustration. Maybe this has to do with that justice card and then like whatever this settlement energy is you got because somebody definitely was in some kind of low vibrational energy 
and getting called a mistress. So some this also oh, this getting called a mistress could have been yeah something that was lies or somebody was lying about that somebody was a mistress because they was in this low vibrational energy. And it all could have had to do with this Mercury retrograde, but not necessarily. I feel like this is giving me more than one situation. All right, anything else? All right, you got lust. So something with lust could be significant. Or somebody could have been lying about somebody lusting. or how, However this resonates. Whether this was happening at a job or not or somewhere else. All right, so... I don't know if this, well, it came out, but it says fraudulent, tarot reading, willingly. So somebody could have been um, making some lies. I mean, we see lying and lies out here. And then somebody could have been making some kind of fraudulent tarot readings, willingly about whatever this is. Whether this is pertaining to this job or these false accusations or whatever. Alright. Yeah. So you got the song the song by Tweet Goofy that came out. Alright, so this could be happening to a father. I just seen father. Anything else from this pile that pertains to this energy? Yeah, somebody doesn't want to accept something. This could be making somebody look goofy. Oh, we got Ike and, Tika, Ike and Tina dynamic type of relationship. Okay. You got Charity Foundation. You got feelings not tied in. So somebody feelings is not tied in to something to keep that same energy. We got illusions. So there definitely could have been some kind of illusions about something. You got the letter U and then you got the King of Swords. Alright, so that could be pertaining to a Pisces. No, that's a... Uh, Swords is Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I mean, it don't have to be that sign. It could be any and all signs. And then we got want to cater and all. I, it says, I want to cater plus all of your needs. So, I don't know if this is this King and Swords energy or this could be somebody else. See, I definitely feel like there's more than one situation in here because it's like, first it was talking about, yeah, you got Decepticon. Somebody, something about a Decepticon or somebody could, maybe this King of Swords is a Decepticon or something like that. And I just made that card. Anything else from this part? Oops. So we got my lucky number seven card, which talks about, you know, um, the seven, you know, symbolizes lucky, religion, completeness, perfection, philosophy, superstition, spirituality. So this definitely has to do with someone's spirituality. Or maybe somebody could be feeling like they've been dis or. Somebody could have been deceptive or feeling like someone was a deceptive kind pertained to somebody's spirituality or something like that. Whether it's this King of Swords energy, but it could be any and all signs. It don't have to just be this King of Swords energy. And let's see. Yeah, because somebody definitely I was talking about it. It has something about this has to do with someone's creativity. And then we got outside your normal dating practices. And then the other card says, which was on my leg, it says use more than one partner for financial gain. Somebody could have been using more than one par partner for financial gain. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe that's taboo for forbidden love. Okay, yeah, we're getting a little, a lot of uh, different stuff. But first it was, you know, somebody definitely could be getting some kind of justice. I know that. Pertaining to, um, you know, them choosing to go a certain path and somebody else not understanding that because they could be like in this hater energy. They could be trying to discourage this person, whether they male or female. And then we got all these other sides, other 
side note stories or energies or situations. All right, anything else for the final and last time? Because we got 25 minutes. Anything else for this file to clarify this energy? Anything else to clarify this energy? My spirit guides, my angels, the archangels, only of uh, the most high. Anything else to clarify this energy for the final and last time? Yeah, I see self love. And this was sticking out. Family man, family woman. Somebody definitely. There's definitely some some other energy of like something to do with a relationship, or there being some kind of illusion pertaining to a relationship. I just seen the Queen of Swords. All right, anything else? Oh, all right. So we got boyfriend. Oh, I'm not about to read this one. Oh, wow. Then we got unclear. And then we got mother. Okay. Um, anything else? Because these other two cards, I really don't want to read them. Because I was not intend intending for those to come out. But anything else from this pile that pertaining to this energy right now? Anything else? Anything else? Oh. Let's see. Okay, we got all these. This says many streams of income. So, this person that's getting this justice could definitely be working on many streams of income. We got, I made changes. I made changes. Hear me out. So, somebody definitely wants somebody to hear someone out. All right, but wow, we got messing with food or drink. So, somebody could have been messing with somebody's food or drink. We got bringing baggage into a new relationship. And then we got handle your business. So whether this mother or this boyfriend, somebody, something was unclear about a relationship or someone bringing baggage into a new relationship. And I feel like that's true because this yes is sticking out. But I'm going to end it there. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be the end of this reading. All right. Um, I might come back on here in a minute to try to do an another one. Yeah, look, this just stuck out to if your girl only knew. So there was something... Yeah, somebody needs to use their discernment. Um, but the first energy I was getting that there's going to be some kind of justice pertaining to someone choosing to go a, a certain path. Because somebody could have been trying to stop somebody from doing something with them being a hater, trying to discourage this that person, male or female. And maybe this has something to do with a, a relationship being involved or that's just another whole energy that I was just getting but I'm not reading these other two cards because that's a lot um yeah I don't want to read those two cards but let's get a kipper card and I'll close it out on that let's get a kipper card is there anything from this deck small child and at the back of the deck you got the court so something with this could be pertaining to that justice and the settlement or whatever. Maybe this has to do with court and a child, a small child that they could have had in 2018. And they could actually be going to court this year because you got 23. So something with 2023 could be significant in 2018. But let's see that again. Anything from this pile that pertains to this energy right now? No, that's too many. Anything from this deck pertains to his energy. His thoughts. So this has to do with a male energy. Yeah, you got the good lady, number six, and unexpected money. So this definitely has something to do with this male energy being in their thoughts about someone getting some kind of unexpected money. Yeah, something that was a journey to get. And maybe that has to do with the settlement and stuff like that. Yeah, because somebody definitely has some kind of expectation pertaining to something. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to end it right there. Alright, so this is going to be the end of this video. 
um i will continue to upload videos to this channel um and i might come back on here in a little while to do another video all right so if you want to watch this from the beginning to the end you're more than welcome you're more than welcome to watch other videos that's currently uploaded on the channel i will continue to upload videos to my channel at, um so i'll see you later and i'll see you in the next video